Got some polling, suicidal subject with a weapon, Wendell Lane, Black River, status location, any available patrol in the area, identify. Copy 105, you want to start that way. 106 Wendell Lane crosses the Rogers Road, Beaumont Ave and Pine Drive. Husband in the garage, A1, depressed, threatening suicide. Caller stated, uh, same a week ago, is, does have a rifle, possibly loaded. Stated he came into the house, said I love you, goodbye. Caller went out, check on him, and saw the weapon. Not violent towards anybody else. Only two, only, the only two subjects there. Yeah, Any patrol to assist, 105, black, over identify. E17, Justin. Ready, one up. We're just clearing right now. That's at the 1-6, we'll be in route. Copy, 2151, 105, you can 4-0, they're a lot closer. 105, copy, 4 Jeff, keep coming until they figure out what we've got. 1-1-1, Jefferson. 1-1. I'm just a couple minutes out, but I don't have my computer on. Can you, uh... Walk me into it from 342. I'm just coming up to 83 right now. No manifestation, BLS 2152. Come in Ray Street into the village. Take a left onto Beaumont Ave before you get to the five corner intersection. Copy. How far down is the Beaumont going to be when I make the turn? Almost nine tenths of a mile when you turn off a 342 into the village. Sheriff, one two three, Jefferson. One two three. One two two will be out of service for remainder. Shield three, I'll be in the Shuna. Here to Black River. Jefferson County, I just again, I just turned on the Boomer. It's 106 Wendell, when you go down Beaumont, it'll be your first left-hand turn. We're just going by uh, Twin Oak Drive. Copy, I'm going to park at uh, Beaumont and Wendell, and uh, we'll walk down when you get here. I'm out, Jarvis. Copy, 111-2154. the grid. 
garage to the backyard. Okay, can she safely get out of the house without uh, him seeing her? Possibly the one to the backyard is locked. Is there an unlocked vehicle in the driveway that would have a uh, garage door opener in it? Stand by, he just returned into the residence, they're speaking. Is he aware that we've been called? One second. One six, one seven. Copy, uh, he does not know that she's called. Does he still have the uh, firearm with him? The dispatcher's still in line with her, but she's not able to uh, speak to her. She's talking to the husband. Alright, we're going to make an approach to the house. Just uh, keep us advised on if he goes back in the garage or uh, any change. Copy. Everything's from in there. Copy. He does still have the firearm. Copy, that was 106, right? Affirmative. I'm being told that this time he does have the weapon and he is wearing a bulletproof vest. Alright, I need her out of the house, Jefferson. Have her get out of the house. but she's telling us at this time she's not able to. Not able to because he's not allowing her to leave or she just doesn't think she can get out? Negative. She's not sure where he is in the house. She's not sure she can leave without him seeing her. He's still in the garage and he set the gun down on the bench next to him. Definitely got the bulletproof vest on, she states, correct? Well, that's what she told us. Alright, suicidal people don't put on a bulletproof vest, so we're going to uh, act like it's a barricaded subject and we'll go from there. He's by the front door at this time. Alright, have her come out. Outside on the front steps. Alright, have a come out and walk left. One 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 Jefferson. Go ahead. And contact the fire department. I need the street shut off. Uh, no traffic. Advise them no uh, no lights and no siren. If you could just set up their pagers. Cap. Yeah. One one one, are you out with her now? Yeah, I am. Contact with Senator Pearson. Advise him of the situation. Uh, advise him needs the uh, and then the negotiator in the entry team. I don't have my can't call him right now. Copy. Do you can you find out from her if he has a fire pager or a scanner in the house? Yeah, he does not at this time. You want to shut down at Beaumont and Walden or the other cross streets in that area? 105. 105. You're on your way with your partner, correct? Right? Get on to Beaumont, Charlie. Charles, if you haven't called the lieutenant yet, I'm on my way back to the car right now to do so. Copy, it was just about to, um, you want to shut down at Luray in Beaumont or right there at Wendell? And if you could do, uh, Luray, uh, Luray Street there, we've got to shut down at Wendell and Rogers right now. If you can shut down at the other end or end at Luray. <laughs> Copy that, we'll activate them. Help, please.
in the village. Black River Fire is requesting you shut down the roadway. Alluray Street and Beaumont Ave, Walden Lane and Pine Drive. We're repeating Black River Fire is requested to shut down the roadway. Alluray Street and Beaumont Ave, Walden Lane and Pine Drive. No lights, no sirens. 603. Meanwhile, Ray Street at Beaumont Ave shut down and Wendell Lane at Pine Drive.
one two three to one one one. One one. Yes, sir. We got all the houses on that side of the road evacuated up to the house and across the road, all the way up to across the street. Um, you want to start on the other houses or just around the house? Yeah, I want to have at least three on uh, each side. Copy. We'll be at the one side. All right. Obviously, the ones on the other side will have to uh, go around that way and not walk in front of the residence. One, two, three, two, one, one. Go ahead. Okay, so I just walked in front of the living room window. Uh, I see a white t-shirt. I don't believe he's got a vest on this time. Looks like he's going back to the garage. Got it. Eyes all around the house now. One, two, three, and I are directly across the street from the front of the house. And uh, Trooper Van Dusen and her partner are at the house next door on your side. Golly, the, the fence yard in the back, they have one aggressive German Shepherd, so you're with. The unit's on saying, be advised he was talking to his mother on the phone, highly agitated, uh, ends up hanging up on the mom. Has any communication been made with the individual? 
Negative, the lieutenant wanted us to hold off until you arrived. Copy. Uh, perimeter teams, just so you're aware, Detective Stacey's walking down. It's going to be on the uh, west side, walking in. Uh, perimeter team, just be advised to avoid.
Mike White, head lights out on this one. I'm asking if they want to go get the other eight Happy stand by. Listen to 111. 11. Even if they're sitting there and able to black their lights out, what do you advise? Have them pull up just before the intersection and put everything off then. Copy. Uh, just revise and stay in the ambulance, please. Copy. Renee. Okay, Deputy Davis is going to be moving down. You're on the west side of the roadway, correct? Two copy behind the garage, directly across the street from the suspect house. Deputy Davis is moving down now. Going. Going to be on Happy 693, standing by 0002. Zero, 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 deputy Froelich. 11 one to Deputy Froelich. 105, go Advise us if your partner there sees any movement through the scope. Copy will do. 105 to 111. Go ahead. 141. No, go ahead. He just walked into the garage from inside the house and closed the garage door. We've got him on the phone right now with the negotiator. 105 to 111. The M4 is tucked under his right arm with a magazine in it. He peered out the front window, looked down the street in your direction, and then walked back into the garage. Just everybody have heads up. Deputy Frolic. Do either one of you have a phone? Yeah, both of us have our cell phones. Alright, I just tried to call you both. Can one of you give me a call, please? Yeah. 105 to 111, he's got a vest on. 105 to 111, he's got a vest on. Garage door is open. He's in front of the truck, he's in front of the truck, he has the rifle. Detective Belch and Detective Tillerman have them respond to the scene.
Copy. Um, if you can't get him by phone, send uh, patrol to his house. One one Jefferson. One one. Contact uh, Deputy Gruber and Deputy Cutterback. Have them respond to the scene. Or actually, have them call uh, Detective that's busy first. fire truck on the north end of the scene, come up uh, a little further for us for lights. Also, Deputy Gruber has been advised, no answer from Deputy Kotovac and Detective Timmerman say he was unavailable.